Hello everybody and welcome back to Melbury Estate. I'm going to retry the compost today because I think I was on the right lines from what I can gather from all of your comments. But there's something I'm missing, I'm sure. So I'm going to try again, but first of all we do need to start selling some of our fermented silage because we obviously don't have that much money and it's sat there waiting to be sold. We will leave some because we, we will need to actually do a mixed ration, but to begin with I think it's probably best if I just start selling and then we'll return to here and continue with the composting, if I can. So if that is the plan for today. What I'm going to do is attempt to rent a loader. I don't know if we can afford it. If we can't, what I'll do is I'll just get the, the other tractor and start selling until we have enough money. But here we are. I'll just put this out of the way. We probably don't need it. I don't think this trailer supports the composting mod, which is probably the reason why it wouldn't load into it. And for that reason, I have gone and got a mod which was actually sent to me. And someone did send me a link for it. I'll also post a link down below. But in the telehandler section, it's this. It's the Univ Universal Transporter and you can choose the colour, multicolour, and it takes, I think, every single fruit type. So that should be very handy when doing this. And I've just checked to see how much it costs to rent the JCB wheel loader, and it is 13,300, I think. So we'll have to just sell a little bit here, but not too much. And we will have to also buy a bucket or rent a bucket as well. So. Uh, probably we're looking about 14,000 or so just to cover ourselves. And that's pretty easy. One small bucket load is almost 3,000 pounds. So uh, yeah, we don't really have too much, too many issues there. That should be all okay. I'll just sell another one. I think we're going to be okay for money for a long time. So here we are in our JCB. We will head up there. It's quite a long way. We probably should have a lorry for this. But at the moment we obviously can't afford one. So we'll just drive over there. I'll set up course play. And once it's sold a fair bit, we'll then be able to probably buy a muck spreader. I think we do need a muck spreader to actually put this compost on the land. Uh, but just to start off with, I'm going to use that mobile you know, multi-purpose transporter for the telehandler. I think it also does attach to the front loader as well, so we should be okay there. And probably it even attaches to this, I'm not too sure. Right then, so, we may load up another trailer load as well, but that all depends on whether you can actually turn the fermented silage into compost, because someone did say that you couldn't do, but then in a video which I watched, someone was actually turning the fermented silage into the compost, so I don't know really. I think it does work, but until I've actually successfully done it, I can't guarantee that it will work. £10,000 for one bucket load. 
That is pretty good. Right, so it's not very far to do the course play. Usually it's much further than this. Uh, I think we'll probably do it on this pit over here as it is bigger. It's got a lot more in it. I think probably next episode we'll be using the new Holland pack. Looks really good, but we I just can't afford it at the moment. So when we've solved this, we will be able to. So I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, course play. Uh, we want this setting. I've done this many times before, but you know I'm, I'm not very good at remembering. So I think that's all right. So we want to start the course recording. hope it doesn't have any issues there, it's very tight. I probably should have moved the tractor out of the way a bit more. I think we're okay, oh no not quite. If it doesn't work I'll just try again. You obviously shouldn't reverse yet but there we go. Uh, let's try that. Now for our loading positions. You've probably seen me do this loads of times before. We're loading about there. Transport position obviously wants to be a bit higher, but not too high. Pre-loading position, pretty high. And finally, a tipping position. Like that. So let's see if that works. I should think this tractor's in the way. Okay, that didn't work. I'll do it again. Uh, the tractor was in the way, so I'll just do this off screen. It should go a lot better this time. Okay, so I've just re recorded the course, and I'm just hoping this works. Okay, that's weird. I really don't know why it's doing that. I think I've done it alright, but it always seems to stop in the same place. I've re-recorded it three or four times. Always stops there, as if there's some kind of invisible barrier. I don't know if there's not enough swing in this yard to actually get round and it thinks it's at the waiting point, but... Something is stopping it, and I don't know what. So... Yeah, that is not, that is not easy at all. So I think what I might do is re-record and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm doing it alright but there is a possibility that I'm missing something so you just watch and if you're good at course play I'm sure you'll let me know but I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right oh. shouldn't roll forwards there Right, so I'm going to go this time under here. I know it looks a bit weird, but I'm trying to just give it a, a bit of a better turning circle. And if I go up to here, I think I'm close enough. Yeah, good. stop just behind there right let's see if this does it if this stops as well then I must be missing something may take a while oh it's looking better so yeah, that must be what it is then. The yard is too tight. 
Yeah, I'm sure I wasn't at that angle. But anyway, it still seems to be selling, so it's good enough. Now what I'm going to do is just tip what's in the bucket. We'll drive to the shop and we'll go and pick up our universal transporter bucket. The money is going to come in thick and fast now. I uh, probably should leave the bucket here. Now we'll have a bit of a leisurely drive over to the store. Which is quite a long way from here, but not to worry. Now what I'm going to buy over here, if we've got enough money, is the attachment for the front, the universal bucket or universal container it looks like, I'm not sure what the official name for it is, and also a muck spreader or a manure spreader, because I'm pretty sure that is how you apply it to the field, so that is the obvious thing to put it in, rather than just a trailer, but I'm sure we'll find out more when I actually get back to the composter or the compost machine. Uh, with the equipment and let's just see we'll go from there and see what happens because I'm sure that what I put in there isn't wasted it must be processing or something it might take a while to process I don't know but I don't know we'll go from there and also if it doesn't work next time I'll just put something like wood chips in and see if that works I think you can also use grass um, or non-fermented silage but I'm pretty sure the fermented silage does work too so I'm just going to try out and see if it works. Anyway, here is the line of houses, so we must be close. We've still got a header here for our forage harvester. So, we need to buy the mod first of all. And what a choice of colours. Uh, I think a green. And also, we should buy... Let me just go into the main page. Where are they gone? Manure spreaders. I know you're looking straight at it, but I can't see it. Where is it? Ah, oh, come on. There it is. And we should probably go for... Not the biggest, but... I don't know. Uh, probably this one. Because this tractor isn't the biggest in the world, so it's going to be struggling with it if we put that really big one on there. And actually thinking about it, it might be a wise idea to attach the attachment first for the front loader. I'll try and stop it from jumping up, but it always seems to... Oh, okay. Wrong one, I think. Oh, please tell me. Okay, it's for a telehandler only. Oh, no, it's not. Ah, oh, it goes on the front link. Or oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not going well. Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. Okay, so with that out of the way... <laughs> Uh, please do forget that part. I will put this to one side and we will wait until we've got a bit more money and we'll buy a telehandler to attach that to. Uh, although we might actually already have enough money, who knows? 85,000 for that one, but I think the Merlot... Oh no, it's, it's even more. Okay, well we'll just wait then. We'll get a bit of selling done and... We could take this down there now, because obviously we can't put the attachment on the front loader. Feels quite heavy, even empty. So we definitely didn't want the bigger one. First of all, I'm just going to reverse up to where I did last time and see if anything happens. 
Apparently you don't have any in storage until you put it in storage, so it could still be processing, although I might have lost the previous load that I did. Oh, oh, that is promising. That is filling up. That was empty before. And I might be better off putting this on horizontally, actually. Now this is going to go straight into the manure spreader, um, which means you'll have to go straight onto the land, but you can also put it into that pit over there. Right, okay. Maybe, maybe you have to have a special manure spreader which is compatible with the compost mod. Uh, yeah, I didn't really think this through. I should think that is what's going on here. So while I fail at making compost, I think we should probably get this. We've just bought it. This is our one. The other one is rented. Um, and we'll take it down to see where we're doing the composting. That's better. Although it doesn't look safe on a road, but it's just a back road. We'll take this down there. If we can see anything, wow. There we go, that's better. And this should work because I know this is compatible with the compost mod, uh, whereas obviously the base base game equipment wouldn't be, as it isn't even implemented into the base game. I really should have thought of that, it's, it seems fairly obvious now. Uh, but next time I get a proper manure spreader. But yeah, this thing, this does work, so we'll give it a go. Okay, so let's get lined up here. Can't really see in cab actually with this one. You can't see a great deal. Hmm. Now, could there be a button of some form which you have to turn on? for it to empty into it. Because I know that is compatible. Aha! Uh -huh. How do you do that? We have got 37% compost, it says there. So we should be able to do this somehow. Now I may be able to see what's going on here. I couldn't get the button to work, but you might have to wait until it's all processed before you can actually unload anything. That is a possibility. So it might just be a case of doing a bit of waiting until it has processed, uh, which will be in a few videos time. Now obviously if I'm still doing it wrong, then uh, if you have done it right before, please let me know, because I know this thing is compatible. Let me just have another look, just to reassure myself. Uh, yep, I think it's in here. Nope, it's in here. Compost is somewhere. Which one is compost? I think it's that one, but I couldn't say for sure. As we've got it positioned under there, and we'll just have another go with the button over here. It doesn't seem to do anything. Nothing flashes up on the menu. Oh. Yes, it does, but not anything which tells you how to control it. No, I, I don't know. I really don't. So, I think you have to wait until it's processed. But I may be wrong. Anyway, this will be uh, something we can continue next time. Let's go and see how everything else is doing. 
Here we go. It's it's doing well. We should probably save the course. We've still got 21 hours of rent left on it. We may have to extend it. Ah oh yes, it's uh, doing a very good job. 30% remaining. That's quite a lot of money. So we'll leave this all going so it can continue selling. But yeah, please do li let me know if you've done the composting before. If you know how to do it properly. I think you do press the button, but nothing appears on my screen. So I can only assume it's because it's not ready yet. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye for now. And finally, I'd just like to say that the Chellington Extended map is definitely in the lead for the vote. So I'll be changing the map over in the next few days for the multiplayer server. So I'm sure a lot of you will be pleased about that. Thanks for watching and again, bye for now.